The concept of the Panopticon traces its origins back to an architectural design proposed by the English philosopher Jeremy Bentham in the late 18th century. Envisioned as a circular prison, the Panopticon was designed in such a way that a single guard stationed at the centre could observe any inmate without the inmate knowing whether they were being watched or not. While Bentham imagined the Panopticon as a tool for moral reform and efficient control, French philosopher Michael Foucault saw it as a potent symbol of the intricate relationship between surveillance, knowledge and power. In his seminal work, Discipline and Punish, Foucault delves into the historical transformation of punishment, tracing its evolution from the brutal public executions of the past to the regimented, calculative nature of modern prisons. It is in this context that he introduces the Panopticon as a metaphor for a new kind of power mechanism that operates not just in prisons, but pervasively in modern society. For Foucault, the genius of the Panopticon lies in its ability to induce a state of conscious and permanent visibility, ensuring the automatic functioning of power. When inmates or individuals in society believe they might be under surveillance, they internalize the watchful gaze, effectively becoming their own jailers. This self-regulation, born out of a fear of observation, is what Foucault refers to as the internalization of discipline. But the Panopticon's influence extends beyond the prison walls. Foucault argued that similar structures of surveillance permeate various institutions in society, from hospitals and schools to factories and military barracks. These institutions adopt panoptic mechanisms to discipline and normalize individuals, shaping them into obedient subjects fit for the workings of modern society. This normalization process, according to Foucault, is integral to what he termed biopower, the regulation of populations by institutions and authorities. Through various systems of surveillance and discipline, power entities in modern societies are able to exert subtle forms of control, influencing not just actions, but also thoughts, desires and identities. Foucault's exploration of the Panopticon serves as a stark reminder of the ubiquity of surveillance in contemporary life. In today's digital age, with the proliferation of surveillance technologies and data collection, his insights resonate more than ever. The omnipresent surveillance cameras, online tracking mechanisms and data analytics can be seen as modern iterations of the panoptic gaze, constantly reminding individuals of the watchful eyes of power. In essence, the panopticon has evolved from a physical architecture to a virtual one encompassing the digital realm and shaping behaviours, relationships and perceptions in profound ways. In conclusion, while the Panopticon began as a revolutionary architectural design, through Foucault's lens, it transformed into a powerful analytical tool to understand the intricate dance between surveillance and power in modern societies. His exploration challenges us to question and critically examine the ways in which power operates, often invisibly, shaping our lives in myriad subtle ways.